Today marks the second week of the Advent season. The word Advent means coming or arrival and speaks of Jesus' arrival that first Christmas morning in Bethlehem. The season of Advent is a time when we joyously and prayerfully anticipate the celebration of Jesus' first coming and we look forward to his second coming while also affirming that he is present in the world today, offering his redeeming love to anyone who will simply receive it. So to get started today, let's read Luke 2, verses 8 through 14 together. It reads, In the same region, shepherds were staying out in the fields and keeping watch at night over their flock. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid, for look, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today, in the city of David, a Savior was born for you, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped tightly in cloth and lying in a major. And suddenly there was a multitude of heavenly hosts with the angel praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and peace on earth to people he favors. This morning, Christians around the world come to light the second candle of the Advent wreath. This candle traditionally symbolizes, now that's a hard word to say, (laughs) symbolizes peace. This peace we are talking about is not the end of all trouble, warfare, and strife in the world. This peace is the peace that we can have with God through Jesus Christ. Once we have trusted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we are no longer separated from God by our sin, but instead we have peace with God through his son, Jesus Christ. We thank God for sending his son, Jesus, into the world to pay the penalty for our sins on the cross and to conquer death through his one resurrection and will come back again one day to judge the living and the dead to set up the perfect kingdom that our bodies and all of creation groans for. So today, we're going to pray to God, and we're going to thank him for being given the peace that goes beyond all understanding. Let's pray together. Father God, we do thank you for the peace that you give us through the reconciliation of of just Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. God, I know we have a lot of these big, different theological concepts and things we're trying to figure out with exactly how we relate to you, do, 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 do we choose to follow you or do you choose us? But at the end of the day, for those that you have called your children, those who have put their faith and trust in you, you give them a peace that goes beyond all understanding. And in fact, you give us a peace that goes beyond all understanding. So as we see what's going on in the world, the trivial things that are happening, the, the hardships, whether they're losing a loved one, or a spouse, or losing a friend, or seeing the troubles and the wars that we see going on in the world. God, I pray that we stay anchored to you, that we keep our faith and hope in you, and that through this season, even when times are hard, and when times are really, really good as well, we stay anchored to you because you are the only place we can find peace and comfort in this world. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen.